Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am headed to the gym, you know, the life of a trainer. My day started at 5. I had a 5.15 appointment. Um, went all the way to about 11. And um, my noon slot opened up. And so I got to take advantage. I'm kind of going back and forth, though. So I'm like, you know, should I go home and try to eat and, you know, do some administrative work on the computer? Maybe take a nap and work out tonight or get it in now. Um, I'm on this, I'm on this, uh, I put myself on a, on a plan where I'm trying to run five days a week again. You know, just how, how we used to train in college, you know, in school, you know, the most track team. And, you know, when I was training five days a week, I was in, speed-wise, I was in the best shape of my life. Uh, my legs felt the best. So right now I'm starting week four. And so far I'm feeling good. Week one was a struggle. Hell, the first three weeks was a struggle. Uh, so I'm going to head to the gym. Well, I'm going to run first. I'm going to do some 300 meter sprints, some uh, hill sprints. Probably like six. Last time I did six, so I'll probably do six again today. Uh, do some hill sprints and then go in the gym and probably deadlift. So uh, hopefully that goes well. You know, there's something about lately I've been I've been really enjoying checking off my calendar. I put on my calendar when I finish a run or a workout, I put day one, you know, day two, day three. And that's been feeling real good. You know, I feel like I've been accomplishing something. And every time I work out, every time I run, uh, my legs have been feeling lighter. My speed is coming back. My stamina is coming back. Uh, the, the strength, the weight room stuff, I was doing really well over the past year, past six months. So that's not really a concern. Um, that's been feeling great. The, my speed is what I'm more uh, focused on right now and my stamina. So, you know, all you runners out there, if you ever done sprint work before, if you ever ran track or played any kind of sport that deals with stamina and running, you know, it feels good when you're when you're on, you know, and when you're off, it shit don't feel so good. So, um, you know, I got to age slowly. So I'm going to get this workout in. It's 1138. I'm almost there. Get this workout in and uh, let you guys know how it goes. All right. So I just got to the gym. Uh, I'm here outside of Metro Flex, Metro Flex Austin. Even though I have my own gym, you know, outright fitness and performance. Um, I like I like I like a change of environment. You know, we don't always like to to play where we work, and um, and oftentimes where we work there's a lot of distractions. So um, for me, it works for me to change it up and go to other gyms and, work and get my training in. I like this gym. You know, it's, it, there's a lot of bodybuilders here, um, a lot of physique models here, and. They, you know, they're too concerned with their own training, you know, to, to, to talk, you know, they're pretty serious and I like that so I can work out and, and, and not worry about being interrupted. But, um, you know, I'm about to get my workout in. I'm going to go run this, this street, this hill, do my, my sprints and then come in here and get some lifting in. I'm about to get run over. So, yeah, I just got run over. Almost got run over. Anyway, I just finished my 300s. I did six. It took me about 38 minutes. Um, hey, guys, it's not a lot of time, you know. So don't say you don't have, don't feel like you don't have time in the day. 30-something minute workout. Um... I ran, ran up, walked back down. Took my time walking down. Um, the key, the key about surviving a speed endurance workout and maintaining quality is not to run all out every single rep. Don't do that shit. Um, you want to run a good pace. You want to. When, we, when, when sprinters, when track athletes say focus on form, we're talking about your stride being open, so not shuffling your feet, not jogging. 
keeping everything relaxed, keeping your arm swing good, keeping your posture good. Um, it doesn't have to be all out. It can still be fast, but it doesn't have to be all out. You always want to save a little bit so that at the end, you know, your last rep, you can finish strong. You don't want your last rep to look sloppy and you don't want to be unable to finish. You know, that's also important. If you set a goal to run eight 100s, run eight run 100s. If you set a goal, especially if your coach, if you have a coach, if your coach tells you, I need you to do a one mile breakdown, you need to do a one mile breakdown. Don't fucking run the first two reps all out and then you can't finish. You know, it's kind of obviously counterproductive. Um, also, I think it helps your mindset. Practice setting a goal for hard workouts and make it a habit of finishing. You know, it, it also requires some discipline. Of course, you're going to feel fresh from the first two reps. You know, of course, you're going to feel like you could run faster. Don't. Unless you're doing... Unless it's intentional, unless your coach wants you to do a time trial, if you're doing volume work, if you're doing multiples of anything, you know, it takes some discipline. In a competition setting, for you fitness athletes out there, or for you competitive athletes, in a competition setting, it requires some discipline to execute a race. Even a 100-meter sprint, it requires some discipline. You can't start off the race like a bat out of hell and expect to hold it together the whole way through. Counterintuitively, um, staying relaxed and being able to finish smooth results some, oftentimes in a faster time than gritting your teeth and trying to force a fast run. It may feel like you're giving a good effort, but oftentimes that time, the result isn't going to pan out the way you think it should. So. Listen to your coach or a coach. And if you don't have one, look it up online. There's a lot of great uh, coaches out there with good advice. So uh, I'm going to go get in this gym. It's been about 46 minutes since I started the, uh, the running. So I'm going to get in this gym, see what my legs feel like, see what I can do. By the way, I fucking hate feeling myself working out. I think that shit is fucking stupid. But I guess as a fitness professional, if it's motivational, if somebody finds it helpful, hey, I guess I'll do it.